Do you work in the service industry or does your business belong to the same particular category? Then this app is an essential one for you. Hi guys, welcome to App DNA where we talk about all things apps. My name is Akshay and the application that we are going to take a look at today is appointment management. So if you work in the service industry, then you would know that managing the appointments are of pivotal importance. So if you're using a pen and paper or spreadsheets to manage all your appointments, then it is prone to a lot of human errors. And trust me, you don't want that happening in an industry like service industry, where customer satisfaction is of great importance. So what is a perfect solution? We are going to make an application with Zoho Creator that will help us manage all the appointments. And let's take a look at the main features of this application. The application will have a database of all the services and staff in your organization. You will be able to make appointments which will include details such as branch name, service and staff along with the customer details. The people who will benefit the most from this application are the staff who would obviously find it much easier to manage all the appointments, the customer who would find it easier to make appointments and more importantly the manager or the admin of the application who will find it easy to view all the reports at once as he will have a holistic view of things happening in the company. So without further ado, let's get started. The application page of Zoho Creator and we'll be creating the application from scratch. Let's name the application as Appointment Management 101. Here we are at the builder and we'll start by creating the first form which is the which is the add branch form. We'll be dragging and dropping a single line field for the branch name, an address field for address, phone number field for phone number and the name field to record the manager's name. We'll also be adding the email field for the manager's email. The services form so let's name the form as add service we'll be dragging and dropping a lookup field for the branch name we'll also be dragging and dropping a single line field to record the service now it's time for us to create the third form which now it's time for us to create the third form which is the add staff form we'll be dragging and dropping a lookup field for the branch name. We'll be drag and dropping the basic fields such as name, email, and phone number to collect information about the staff. We'll also be dragging and dropping two drop down fields so that we can record the time, so that we can record the timings of the staff. So we'll be giving the from timings and to timings as choices here in the drop down field so that it will be easy to select finally we can drag and drop the image field or the file upload field so that we can store the image of the staff so we are done with the basic forms it's time for us to create the book and appointment form this is the most important form of our application as we would be able to book an appointment and we'll also be able to see all the information related to it in the book and appointment report so so let's create a new form we'll name the form as book and appointment we'll be dragging and dropping three lookup fields for branch service and staff we need to get the branch name similarly we need to drag and drop a lookup field for service we'll be dragging and dropping the special field called add notes so that we can segregate the customer detail here so let's give a note here as customer details we'll be dragging and dropping the basic fields here such as name email phone number address not the least the date time field for scheduling an appointment so we are done creating all the major forms now it's time for us to create workflows and respective reports 
the first workflow that we are going to create is a mail notification let's choose the form and name the workflow we'll be adding a new action notification and the action that we are going to select is send email we're going to give the from address as admin user id and to address as email which is a form field within the book and appointment form let's give a subject so we have also given the message over here so each time an appointment is booked the user will get a mail notification from the admin of the application saying that the appointment has been booked successfully message will also denote schedule or the timing of that particular so let's click on save and save this workflow now it's time for us to create the next custom action to create the next custom action let's click on dilute script and we'll be creating it on success let's write the first line of code here we've given rec is equal to add staff in brackets id is equal to is equal to input dot staff rec is the variable this is the add staff form and input dot staff is the staff field which is a lookup field in the assign an appointment form so now it's time for us to drag and drop a send mail task we have to fill from to subject and message dot admin user id and to address as rdc dot email so this way each time an appointment is added the staff will be notified so if an appointment has been assigned to them they will be able to see it through the mail notification the name and even the schedule of that particular appointment will be available in the email so each time an appointment is made we'll be able to see this in the book and appointment report but it is also important that we are able to see appointments numbers and details based on a branch wise system so we'll be creating a new report so that appointments are segregated branch wise and we'll be able to clearly see which appointment is under which branch so we'll be creating a new report we'll be creating it based on book an appointment form and we'll name the report as branch wise let's open report properties we'll be organizing the records based on grouping so we have to choose a field to group and the field that will be grouping based on add branch it will be sorted in ascending order and let's click on done so we are done creating our application now it's time for us to test the application let's click on access the application so this is the book an appointment form where we'll be booking an appointment we i have already added basic information such as branch service and stuff so let's get into booking an appointment we'll be selecting the branch the service and the staff so if the customer is calling to make an appointment the employee will be able to list all these details over here and once the appointment is confirmed the customer will receive an email saying that appointment has been taken successfully let's fill in the details I'll be also giving a schedule as well. So let's click on submit. Now it's important that we receive two emails, one being the notification to the staff once a project has been assigned to him and the other being an email to the customer notifying him about the appointment. Given the same email ID for the staff and the customer so that will be easier to demonstrate to you guys so we've received two emails from the zoho.admin login user id and let's take a look at them the first one is the one that is for the client or the customer which says hi akshay your appointment has been scheduled on the date and time so we could 
conclude that the customer notification works perfectly similarly we have got received a mail staff as well we could conclude that our email functions are working perfectly now it's time for us to take a look at the reports so here in the book and appointment report we'll be able to see all bookings from all the branches and here in the branch wise appointment report we'll be able to see it segregated based on branches so we have achieved all objectives of this application like email notifications having a database of branches service and staff and also having a branch wise appointment list so guys we're done with building our appointment management application and thank you for hanging out with me all this while if you want to take a look at an appointment management application with much more features bells and whistles then please take a look at the one in our app gallery page and also don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you until next time goodbye